Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Danny's Life and Travel and today I'm going to show you how I changed the power supply unit on my computer. Now I went on holiday and when I came back my computer wasn't working so what I did was um, I went to a computer repair shop you know where they they have all the parts because I wasn't so I wasn't sure which part I needed to replace what was wrong with it so um, I suspected the power supply <clears throat> but I wasn't sure so um, I, I got a power supply from the uh, computer repair shop they had loads in the back so I just took uh, the one for my computer 650 watts put it in it did start to work so I, I knew it was that and then I just came home and ordered the power supply unit from Amazon and that's it you know then I, I replaced it so I'm going to show you how I did that today and uh, what um, problems I had, you know, with with the with the power supply. Okay, so here goes. Hi guys. So what happened was, I had this is my old power supply. This one. So it's a six fifty watt TX Corsair. So Corsair uh, power supplies are pretty good. It's um, eighty plus certified. So <clears throat> it was meant to be pretty good. I got it in two thousand eleven. But when I came back from holiday, the computer wouldn't turn on. But you, as you, you you know, you can see this this button here. It's the uh, power button on the motherboard and the reset button. These two buttons were, were lit up. So I was thinking, if it is the power supply, then why are they lit up? You know, they they wouldn't be on. Um, so this is why I wasn't sure if it was the power supply or if it was something else. So what I ended up doing is, like I said, I went to a uh, computer repair shop. A little bit cheeky of me, I went in the back. The guy was clueless, so I went in the back. Um, went through all the different power supplies. He had a lot of second-hand ones in a drawer. And I just found uh, the one that said, you know, it was 400 watt, I think, the one I, I used. But it was enough to power my motherboard. You know, I didn't want to power all the rest of it, just the motherboard, just to see if it works. I get to turn on and so I I put that in it started working so I'm just going to show you how I replaced it so firstly we have this cable right so I'll show you there that cable this is from my old power supply and this is for the CPU fan yeah and this one goes if you can see I'm going to try and get this to to work it's poor lighting in here um, let me just try and get the lighting right. Right, back again guys. So, I, I turned on the light on my phone just to show you. So this is, this here is the, um, the, the cable for the CPU fan. You can see the clip is on this side. So as long as you make sure the clip is on this side, you can plug it in. So when you, I'll just show it, show you on my, on my old one, because I don't have to pull that one out. So this is the old one. So when you plug it in, yeah, so you're plugging it in. Um try and show you there. So you're plugging it in like that. So this clip, the clip is upside down, it's like like going in like that. Let me show you. Like that in there. Um and then these let me show you on here. These two clips here. Yeah, they clip in. So when you're taking it off, you just have to push these two down and then um, so you push these two down and then pull it out yeah if you can't pull it out straight wiggle wiggle and it will come out okay so that's the first one that you have to put on and then the second one is this one this is a, a 12 pin and again it has a clip here so when you're taking it off again you push that down wiggle 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 and get it off and this one goes on here you can see it here right my motherboard is um it's a z68 pro v third generation motherboard so i got it in 2011 and the the cpu is um, uh, an i7 2600k uh, intel processor with a stock fan so um, i mean it's it's a pretty high-end build it was when i when i got it so as you can see again you know the 12 pin uh, clip goes in that uh, in, in there and then 
you've got to make sure that it goes in like this this way in yeah so the clip is on the outside yeah so where on the on the CPU fan um, let me try and show you that it was upside down so the pin is at the bottom yeah and this one is on the outside and again you when you want to take it off push down wiggle 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 and pull out yeah it'll be pretty tough but you can get it off okay now for cable management there isn't much cable management I mean this isn't a modular power supply right so it's got all the wires sticking out it's the same as this one right you can see all the wires sticking out there right there so it's got all the bits there so it's not very neat but I did try and the way I did it was there's a, on my case each case is different it has its own cable management but on mine you can actually put it through the back so I put it all through the back there if you can see so I just pulled it all through there and for all the cables apart from the CPU fan uh, cable everything else got put in the back first and then I put it underneath here it went through the bottom here um, and then I just started uh, clipping them on I mean this is the 12 this is the 12 uh, pin one so it goes in from there but the rest just go in from the bottom and let's just talk about the just talk about the the power supply unit for, for a minute again it's a Corsair VS650 and the way you install this is you um, when you put it in remember the the fan is at the bottom right and then you got this plate don't know if you can see it you see that plate there so you just rest it on that on that plate you put there's a fan so you put the right guys sorry about that I had a phone call so uh, we were talking about the power supply so VS650 Corsair and then in the back if I can show you how it's all screwed in so you got got these screws so I'll try and show you on the uh, on the old one. It will look better to show. So this is the old one. You can see on all four corners there's a screw hole, right? That's where the screws go in. So it sits on the metal plate, like I showed you under there. It sits on the metal plate, and then you just screw it in. Um, if you can see that you can see screw there, screw there. Yeah, so those two screws on the opposite side, there's a screw there and a screw there. Yeah. Um and that's it, you know, it just gets screwed in. So when you do it, just lie down the uh the case, just put it down vertically, so I mean just horizontally, just um lay it down and then just, just put it in and screw it in. It's fairly easy guys. To do for anyone who complains that I have not uh, shown you you know basically I haven't done it myself whilst I was recording and showing you this is simple guys it's very simple you're just screwing it in plugging it in yeah for all the other cables uh, that I brought from the bottom um, they're these cables which I will show you on my hold on it's these cables right they have multiple points and you have quite a few of these so you just plug them in yeah and again how do they go in for those of you who absolutely are clueless you see you see it like that so you can see I can't actually touch it see so you can see this part comes down this is straight and it's like an L right so the L would go in, go in like that, yeah. So um, it's the same for each one, and um, that's it really. I mean, you just hook up your SATA cables, these ones. Show you these ones again. It's an L shape. Just goes in. Yeah, and done. So um, very simple, straightforward. Any problems guys contact me let me know I will help you um, the other point I'd, I'd like to to make is uh, for those of you who are completely struggling have no idea 
what you're doing. If you live in West Yorkshire, I live in the UK, West Yorkshire. If you live in West Yorkshire, um, or even maybe a little bit further out. If you're willing to pay for diesel, I'll come down, I'll do everything for you. I don't mind doing that. Um, I don't mind helping people. I mean, I've got days off. I, mean, I think next week I've got about... Um, is it this week? No, it's, it's next week. From Thursday next week, I've got nine days off work. So, nine days off, I'll spend it coming down to your house and building you an entire computer if you want. I don't want to get paid. The money's not the issue. Uh, all I would ask is you help me by recording. You hold the camera. So... Um, we record the entire process. I just show people how to do it so there's less people I have to go out and help. And uh, the more we do, the more we help people, the better it is. And the less we have to go to computer repair shops and pay a bloody fortune. The guy actually said to me, he said, uh, we will charge you, I think, 20 to 30 pounds just to have a look at it, just to tell you what's wrong with it. <clears throat> and then you can pay for the part. I thought, what the hell, why should I? I went on Amazon. On Amazon, I... Um, Paid, it was £42 for the uh, power supply unit. After discounts and my uh, savvy negotiating, which I do all the time, I got it down to £29. So I paid £29. That's what I paid for my power supply unit. And uh, it's fine, you know. It seems to be working fine and everything's good. Um, again, I'm using Windows 7. Right, guys, as I was saying, um, I'm using Windows 7 at the moment. Um, again, Windows 10 is terrible, completely crashed on me again. I was stuck on the repairing um, automatic repair and the, the boot loop thing again. That's terrible. So I just loaded up Windows 7. I have uh, loads of uh, videos coming for my holidays. Uh, I went to the Philippine Islands. Uh, it was amazing. So I'm going to be uploading everything soon. And um, I hope you like. Um, for those of you who just like the computer videos, or the repair videos, ignore the holiday videos. Just don't moan about it, you know. Um, I do like to take a holiday. And for everyone who commented on my uh, on my video, on the boot loop video and all the rest of it, I'm very sorry I was on holiday. I couldn't uh, reply to everyone. You know, I had really bad Wi-Fi. Um, I did pay a fortune to have one month unlimited Wi-Fi. But I suppose when you're on an island with palm trees, um, you know, you can't help but have a bad connection. So, yeah. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, have a great day. And uh, this is Danny signing out. Bye-bye.